Hi to everyone. Today I'm talking to you from the Emirates Stadium in London. And there's a match ongoing you can see on the back. It's Arsenal versus Burnley. And I just wanted to tell you how is the agent's world when there's a match day? What are we actually doing? So just to give you an idea, which we have actually in our book as well, the part where I'm explaining about match days. So I just wanted to give you a quick insight into the world. So usually for a match day, for one of my clients here at the Emirates, I have 20 to 50 guests. It depends what kind of game is it. If it's a big game, you have up to 50 guests. If it's a small game, like against a smaller team, you might have 20 to 25 guests. My match day doesn't start today. It starts actually usually one day before. Today, the game started at 12.30. That means a lot of guests for today, they're coming already in yesterday. So some of these guests I already meet one day before for dinner and spend some time with them. So because these are special guests of my clients, some of them I know, some of them I don't know, some of them coming for the first time, so we need to take care. It's actually the agent becomes a hospitality manager. That's why I call myself. I'm a kind of a hospitality guy. So that means taking care from them when they land in London, when they go to the hotel, meet them for dinner, ask them if they need something and be there for them, whatever they need. The next day, like today, is now the match day. So you meet the clients, usually some of them, the guests, you meet them already for breakfast somewhere. So you spend again a time, some time with the guests. Then later on, all the guests joining the stadium. Some of them are in our box, some of them sitting on club level, and some of them sitting somewhere else. So that means you have to coordinate which guests will be where. And it's really not easy, and it takes a lot of time for myself and my team to organize it. So, and on top of that, every home game with my clients, we have charitable uh, things we do. That means always a family with a kid who has cancer or something else joining us for the game. And so we try to give the family a great moment, which the kids never will forget. And after the game, I bring the family and the kid downstairs so they can meet the players and spend some really valuable time with the families and with the players together. So that's very important. That goes for every home game. And then you have guests, I can tell you, who's coming for these kind of games. Family members of the players, they're coming from all over the world. We have coming in other agents, we're coming in potential new clients with their family members, we host. People from brands and sponsors, where we are trying to make a uh, an, where the player could be an ambassador for any sponsors. People from charities, political guests, people from embassies, friends, normal friends, and so on. So the, it really never ends. And I just wanted to show you that the match day is a big issue for us. It takes a lot of time. It's a networking event. It's a kind of hospitality time for me as an agent. And if you think the match day finished with the game, it doesn't. So after the game, there's a time where we usually go downstairs, wait for the player in the so-called flat family lounge. Then we meet the players with some of the guests. Then, we go, then the player is usually going home with the family members, but I'm still with the guests. And that means some of the guests want some entertainment. That means they want to go for dinner later tonight. So I need to arrange with my friends dinner for some of them in a different restaurant, for some others in another restaurant, and I need to meet these guests again. So as you can see, the ma a match day is actually nearly 24 hours. And there's a lot of work we have to put it in to make our client as well as their guests well. So that's what I was trying to explain you today, the match day.